Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner, and I'd like to share with you how you can improve your confidence to close more deals and to close bigger deals. Here is how I define self-confidence in sales. It is the skill to believe in your ability to make the sale, no matter what the difficulty, no matter what the obstacles, and no matter what other people think you can do. What counts is what you think you can do. Let's say you're getting an invitation to present your solution to a group of executives and you find yourself getting nervous. If you can't control your nervous energy before the presentation and shift into a more positive presence, your customers will mistakenly believe that the value of your solution is as low as your self-confidence. That's why it is important to shift your mindset before you approach any important challenge. You know that the Olympic champions follow a physical and a mental routine to get in a state of peak performance. I recently had a conversation with uh, Jeff Rouse, a three-time Olympic champion who won a gold medal in the 100-meter backstroke. Jeff believes that 80% of peak performance comes from preparing a mindset for a victory. His trainer told him to shift his focus from externals to internals. And here is his three-step process. First, he called it easy speed. He trained to harmonize all movements and swing at top speed with only 80% effort. His focus was on being in the flow. He didn't pay attention to the competition. He didn't focus on the clock. He focused on activating the flow of his inner powers. The second thing he did was to remind himself about the why. You can ask any sports psychologist and they will tell you that if the why isn't crystal clear and if the why isn't connected to the heart, your body won't give you the powers you need to win. Jeff Rouse competed to manifest his destiny, which is far more important than a gold medal. The third thing Jeff did was to connect with his inner peace. He noticed his family in the seats. He drew energy from their love. He felt at peace with himself and the universe. And that inner peace and confidence in himself brought out the best in him, and he went home with the gold medal. How can you apply some of those ideas and create a winning routine for your sales performance? Here are five steps for creating the highest state of confidence before meeting with a customer. Number one, start in the morning. Before you leave home, look at yourself in the mirror and smile and say, today I will connect with all the amazing powers that are within me and I will do a terrific job with my presentation. This is something I do before every keynote speech. I write the word terrific on a piece of paper and I carry it in my pocket. And that is my personal confidence booster. Number two, if you experience fear before a meeting with an important client, tell yourself, that's okay. Fear is helping me get better. So when you accept your fear, you will be able to grow. If you deny your fear, your fear will grow and your confidence will shrink. The third step is to write your fearful thoughts on paper. For example, I worry about getting rejected. Or you want to write down, um, I worry that the customer won't like my solution. Or uh, I think that this is a long shot and uh, I might be wasting my time with the prospect. Writing things down is important. If you don't do that step, your thoughts will multiply in your head. If you write them down, you clear your head from those distracting thoughts. The next step is to challenge your negative thoughts. Let's take the thought, I worry that the customer won't like my solution. How would you challenge those thoughts? I say, what is the evidence for believing that? 
you made up that negative thought. So is there a better way to think about that? Could you say instead, I can't control my customer's thoughts about my solution. I can only influence my customer's decisions by telling him or her that hundreds of customers have implemented this solution with great success. Talking back at your negative thoughts will put you in control and it will restore your confidence. Number five, and this is the best part and it works every time, program your mind with a well-known NLP technique called anchoring. NLP means Neuro Linguistic Programming. Here's how it works. Close your eyes and recall a moment of great success that you have achieved in the past. It could be closing a sale, winning an important game, or getting an award. Imagine the experience and begin to recall the powerful feelings you felt in this moment. Now make a fist and flood your fist with all those positive thoughts, those great feelings in your fist. They are now stored. And now shake your fist and say, yes! as loud as you can. And after anchored, you anchor those feelings with your fist, you will be able to recall them in a future situation and psych yourself up for peak performance. You can use this move before you walk into your customer's office. You simply pump your fist and say, yes! And it will get you into a confident state of peak performance. A final point to consider is this. Your confidence does not come from not having any fear. It comes from trusting yourself to act professionally in spite of your fear. Think of it this way. If you're not feeling uncomfortable, you're not growing. You can simply say to yourself, the better I get with accepting challenging and transforming my fears, the better I will perform. Now, let's put those ideas to work. Please download your workbook and complete the exercises. And when you're done, please join me in the next video. Thank you.